This is Inkscape. First thing you have to do, go to File, Inkscape Preferences. Make sure that the pencil is set for last style I used, pen, last style I used. And then you go down to text, last style I used. I'm using gradient, I guess. Because it gets annoying when it doesn't do that. Something about it. Whatever you want, whatever. Alright, put a panel in there. Let's switch to that. So the little object fill and stroke. Click fill off. Put stroke on. Change the stroke. I like stroke six. Blah. That panel. Alright, now let's go to another layer. Let's do sketch. Want to show off my lettering skills, so let's just sketch in something. Mm -hmm. Have a quick head and shoulders thing. Take the stroke off. So it's still there, that's good. Right. Got a mask. Place plate. That's what George Gilbert called it in one of his books. Put color down in there. Can't get the color down. Alright. Inking time. Layer. Ink. Alright. I like. Developing this sort of style. You outline it. You want to get a flick on the bottom. Try to emulate the line like width, width, whatever. about the curvy lines. It's kind of has a cool style when you don't worry about it. Might be a little too bland, but whatever. I don't care about that. It's just trying to get used to some inking technique here. Click on the bottom, try to point it out towards the top area. Lettering time. Let's try a new layer for lettering real quick. The closest thing I can come up with is to erase my color, so we'll have to show that. Huge. To make sure that it's kind of like a box and you want to center it 
but it's better when they're being centered. All right, so now we got the blues. Let's see if these are gonna match up. Uh, no, no, I want to show off a neat little trick that I learned. Here's an ellipse for the balloons. Let's do these add a new layer for the balloons real quick. Alright. Yeah, immediately change that object bone stroke again. Go for the fill. Stroke. Stroke style. We'll try four. Let's see how that goes. It's a little thick, so let's try three. Pretty good. All right. All right. Uh, so let's try to get this a little smaller. Now this balloon down here we're going to tinker with. This dude looks okay, but zoom in here. Let's try to... Alright, now if you try to a little bit of white space here, if you try to shrink it in here, it cuts down the balloon, so we need to fix that. So I think it's Control shift c if that breaks it apart. Control Shift C. Is that what it was? Yep. Oh, maybe it already did. Yeah, I guess it did. Or flush closer. Alright. Switch over to this mode again. I'm going to show us three, but if we Control Shift C, that's the fourth. So now we can tinker with it. So if you want to add a point, what you have to do is you have to click once where you want the point. And then you have to click on the plus sign and, that, and watch where the point was. Flaw. Right there. So same thing over there. Move that over there. If you want to add a point, you do that. Alright, move this up. The point here, if you feel like it. Alright. So we want to connect these things. I don't know why that stroke is set so big. It's pretty funny. So far, two. Let's just put them in here too. Come on, two point on there. Go for what's the deal? Damn it! All right, I'm gonna connect these things. I'm sure. Like that shift like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter where the layer is screwed up. Yep, layers are screwed up. Okay. Select it separately. Alright, so we want to connect these balloons. Just so I can show off how we kind of connect them. Shove. Goodness. I'm going to go ahead and take a balloon layer. Out. This is the this is the whole point of me making this video. There you go. So now we connect it here. I'm gonna add a new one right here. One for the head. All right. Now look at that. Look at all these overlaps. How are we gonna fix that? All right. Select it all. Click. Shift. Click. So let's do point ahead and shift and click. Shift and click, and this is the magical button right here. Path. Union. Now check this out. There you go, dude. And that is how you begin to make comics using this program. Maybe I'll show you coloring some other time, but till then, there you go. That's it for now.